activate measure from the precision panel, which can be opened from the status bar up here. Now whenever you draw using the fill tool, the surface area of the filled stroke is displayed in the middle. If you want this label to stick, tap on it before it disappears. Another single tap on the value hides the value whether or not the fill is selected. Selecting any filled stroke on canvas will display its surface area. A single tap on the value sticks the label so it remains visible after deselecting. While the fill is selected, you can adjust its surface area manually with a tap and hold. You can adjust the dimensions numerically as well as transform, nudge, or slice the filled stroke, and the value will update automatically. Selecting several filled strokes at once obtains the sum of their respective surface areas. This is a floating label, which means that the value isn't tied to anything, so making adjustments to the size of the fills or the label itself won't impact or be impacted by any changes. Like other floating labels, this one can be selected and moved around. Changing the value of floating labels happens with a tap and hold. All measurement labels live in the measurements layer and are included in your exports as long as the layer is kept visible. Changing the unit and format of your value happens via the workspace menus, as usual.